my god. That's crazy. I bet you this is like a pretty amazing shower experience. You're gonna kind of get a sneak peek of what's gonna be available coming up later this year in 2023. Now this is pretty cool. Come take a look at this. So I'm pretty excited about what we have got going on behind us. Brinkley is a brand new RV manufacturer and they're doing some pretty special stuff with RVs that we really think is gonna just disrupt the market when it comes to RVs because they're thinking outside of the box and they're actually doing some stuff like going out and living in the RV for a month at a time and seeing how it really works and what breaks and what do they need to change and improve. It's good to have those things fail because you learn from them and also it kind of makes you pay extra attention to those things when you're in the production process. We're gonna talk about these two prototypes that they have here at the Tampa Show and show you some pretty cool things and I think you're gonna fall in love with them just as much as we are. So we're gonna start off with the walkthrough of the Model Z. Now the cool thing is this Model Z behind me here, this is actually now in production. So no longer a prototype. You can order this bad boy right now. So let's go check it out because I. I have some things in here I want to show you. So this is absolutely amazing. One of the things I absolutely love about this is the light colored interior. Brinkley got it right on this because so many of us that are out there RVing, we end up painting, we end up remodeling because of that. So one of the things that I absolutely hate in almost all new RVs are the balances and they did not put any balances in here. You've got a nice wood, trimmed out window, no more valances. Can somebody please just give me a thumbs up on that? And then all of the windows are like a Euro style window. So this is the first RV that I have seen to date that has more of a square or a rectangular shape window versus the rounded windows and very easy to open. And these things actually open further than most RV windows. And then if you want a screen, you just pull your screen up and out of the way. I can't tell you how wonderful this is. You got your magnetic shade here on this. With screens in an RV in general, it's like you would actually have to remove a whole screen frame out of a window. So. This kind of up down thing on the screen is absolutely just brilliant in my opinion. And you just get so much more light from these nice bright windows that are in here as well. So one thing that I think is absolutely super, super amazing is with this particular dinette bench here because this is versatile and we have needed this in the RV industry for so long are things that are modular. So basically things that serve more than one purpose or you can move them and, and do different things with them. So this particular kind of dinette style bench here, this actually comes out and it moves and then you've got storage underneath here as well. So tons of storage that's here, but you can move it over to this side of the table if you need it for eating. You can move it over and use it as say if you needed it for an ottoman in front of the couch you wanted to put a high chair here if you've got small kids or something like that in this particular space. So great, vert, like vert, ver I can't talk, vertical, no, versatile. Versatile use of that type of furniture items. Now, one of the things that I think is pretty dang cool here as well is these little pop-up areas for all of your charging and the, the USB ports, which again, why haven't we been doing this? The technology is there. And that's what everybody uses is this type of technology. And then over in this sofa here, you've got a built-in phone charger. So you can just put your phone right here and it's charging. The other thing that I absolutely love about this particular interior is all of this really flat looking slide trim. Now we replace all of the slide trim in our RV to something similar to this, something that's more flat, something that's more sleek. It just gives things a more aesthetic look and it actually makes it feel more open with this type of look. So they did that right out of the gate from the factory, love it. Now, let me turn you around here because this is another cool feature. So instead of having window balances, which there are none because all the windows are trimmed out, but we've got some empty space. One of the things that Brinkley is doing is they're making the most of the empty space. So right here, we actually have a shelf. 
So you can put whatever you need to up onto this shelf area. We're making the most use of the space that's right there. We've got a televator right here, your fireplace here, and then this folds down so you can put stuff in here, which is, this is a nice, huge space. A lot of these types of little spaces in RVs, it's like you open it up and then it's like, there's a gap this big. <laughs> so, but this is actually, you could put several blankets or pillows or whatever you need to in that space. So like, that's amazing. I just absolutely love that. Now over here in the kitchen galley area, you've got pull out trash, recycle bins right in here, your paper towel holder. So you don't have this up on the counter sliding off or whatever on travel days. It's all built in right here and tons, tons, tons of space in this island right here as well. You got your single sink, which I absolutely love so much, like working space in this kitchen. And then check this out in this drawer, they've already got an integrated spice rack so you can lay out all of your spices and see what you have or just, you know, whatever else that you wanna put in this space. But they're making the most of every little space that there is that you can use. Check this out underneath of the stove. You still have a whole drawer underneath of the stove with your stove, with your three burner cooktop. I just absolutely love, 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 love this RV. And then this has got to be one of the biggest pantries that I have seen. Like, I think this is actually just as big, if not bigger than the pantry that is inside of our Glamper Hideaway home base. So lots of room lots of storage, but let's go check out the bathroom and the bedroom area. So before we show you the back bedroom and bathroom of this Brinkley, which is amazing, by the way, I wanted to take a quick minute to share a great resource that we have found with you in planning our trips and especially with those bucket list destinations. RV is a brand new booking service that we have been using during 2022 and have had great success in using this service to be able to not only search for campgrounds faster and easier, but also in being able to secure reservations at some of those hard to book places. Right now, as of the filming of this, it's January of 2023, and chances are, if you're wanting to hit some of the popular destinations like Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, the Florida Keys, well, probably actually almost too late to make those reservations this year, unless that you use a service like RV that can help you pick up cancellations. RV sold out search is very easy to set up and it basically searches for cancellations while you sleep, but it will also book them right away. So you're not left in a lurch getting an email saying, by the way, we found a cancellation. And by the time that you actually get around to getting to a computer, of course, somebody else has already booked that. Nope. RV takes care of it in one shot with no booking fees. We actually have worked with RV to secure a discount for our viewers. So we'll have all of that information at the link below, or you can go to gratefulglamper.com forward slash RV. All right, let's take a look at this Brinkley. Now, I absolutely love this. They actually have hooks pre-installed on the wall for all of your towels and things like that. But I love just the way that they've trimmed this out. It's so much more aesthetically pleasing than just your flat panel wall. So you can hang up all of your bathroom towels and things like that in there. Plenty, wow. plenty of huge storage. You can almost fit a couple of small kids in there. Like it's absolutely huge, 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 huge. The shower is a decent size. It really is a decent size. And with this skylight that's here, you've got a lot of headspace. And then I would love to take a shower in this thing. Look, one, two, three, four spots for the water. Wow, fancy. I bet you this is like a pretty amazing shower experience for sure. All right, coming back into the bedroom. I love that they've got kind of these little built-ins here. This is one thing that I think is absolutely super cool. One of the things that you always tend to see in RVs are like the closet doors where they're mirrored. And to me, that just is like such an outdated look. But I will tell you this, when we painted over the mirror doors in our RV, I actually kind of missed having that mirror space to be able to like do my hair or makeup or having like a full length 
mirror to be able to just like see how my outfit was looking. Check out these closet door mirrors. They're mirrored, but they're very pretty. They have this kind of like nice design to them. So they're mirrored, but they don't look dated. They don't look like out of place or that it just makes it feel old or 1990s because of the design that's on these mirrors. And then you've got it kind of pre-plumbed for washer dryer if that's what you want to do in here or plenty of storage plenty of storage if that's what you'd rather use the space for and then again like look at these little built-ins these are so cool and they've got the little lip here so if you put something in here on a travel day you're not going to have to really worry about it falling off because of this lip here that's going to keep it nice and secure on a travel day and then let's open up these closet doors nice huge spacious closet and again you've got more built-ins look at these little built-ins here where we're not wasting any space and then i absolutely love how these the little clip on these closet doors because this keeps them secure on travel days but it's very easy to open and close and this is not something unlike a lot of rvs that we have been in that like they're just like the way that they latch, it breaks over time or after two or three uses and, and all of that kind of stuff. Love the headboard area that's on their king size bed in this particular model here. And then tons and tons of options. So lots of different options that are available that you can kind of custom build it the way that you want it. Dresser here, tons of storage in this dresser. So on the outside, this has got some amazing storage. So take a look at how big that this pass-through compartment is. This thing is absolutely huge. So much available storage that you have got here. You've got your awnings on the outside and then let's take a look on the other side. So here on the outside, you've got your hookups for your water over here. You've got your electrical hookup down over here. And then over here, you've got furnace hot water heater stuff. So on the back, you've got another storage compartment back here, which has a ton of space. So plenty of space to store your tools or some of your toys. We've got inflatable paddle boards that would fit perfect in this space back here. So nice use of the space on the exterior as well for some extra storage here in the back. So the other Brinkley that we're gonna take a quick look at, now this is a kind of more of a prototype right now. They are adding some really cool features right now. This demo vehicle basically has two axles. It's gonna have a triple axle. They've got some different options for length of garage. Now, this one that we're gonna take a look at because it is a prototype, it will be available for say a late summer, early fall of this year. So you're gonna kind of get a sneak peek of what's gonna be available coming up later this year in 2023. Let's go have a look. So this is their toy hauler version of the fifth wheels. Now, one of the things that I love about this is you've got your center island here, which you have in a lot of your fifth wheels, but typically you would find the sink in this center island, but not in this one. You actually have your sink over here in this corner, which makes much more sense because you want your larger counter kind of prep space next to your sink. And so you have this that is available for other things and it's not taken up with extra sink space or extra plumbing or anything like that. So plenty of storage. And then look at this, pull down your utensil drawer. You also have a pull out cutting board. So this absolutely genius in this particular kitchen here, tons and tons of storage that's in here. Now these shelves you can move up and down. So it's very easy to kind of reconfigure this to fit the way that you want it to fit. And then very large residential style fridge. Now we did ask specifically, this fridge is not a 12 volt, but it has a very, very low draw on the batteries that are on this thing. And now another thing that's interesting about this particular unit is it actually does come with two 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries. Lots of power that is available to be boondocking, to have those harvest host days, 
to be somewhere for a night or two. And then there's some solar panels up on the roof too to keep those things charged. So you don't have any concern about running all of these appliances, these things running as you're driving down the road, lots of available power for everything that you need to run. So this is actually a pull out pantry. And then take a look at this, like this, is absolutely mind blowing to find this type of stuff in an RV. And then you've got even these pull out drawers. Another thing here that you've got is a pull out spice rack. So next to your stove area, you can put all of your spices and things like that in there. So another really cool kind of just use of space over here that you've got is you've got a shelf above the TV area. So you can use that for storage. Now behind this, we'll take a look at that in just a minute, but behind all of this is kind of in the toy hauler area. So right now there's nothing that's available for storage here because there's some stuff that's behind it. So we'll take a look at that in just a minute. But first let's go up to the bathroom and check out that and also the bedroom. Now this is pretty cool. Come take a look at this. This has got a pull out linen closet. And guess what they did? They made sure that this isn't going to pull out into the toilet because we all know that that wouldn't be very fun. So you've got this nice, <laughs> really deep, I know, like it keeps coming, pull out linen closet to be able to store all of your whatever. So towels, washcloths, uh, medicines. I mean, you know, all the stuff that you typically store in your bathroom, right? And then I kind of really like this like rippled effect on the shower it just makes it feel really like modern and it doesn't you know like the flat showers that's so 2000s <laughs> and then nice sink i do like the black sink contrasted against the white countertop with the black faucet so back here in the bedroom you've got a king size bed and lots of nice little like built-in things like in the other model that is across the way. Now, I also am enjoying these little built-ins that you've got up here above the windows because these are nice to be able to put things like your cell phone or your cell phone charger. You've got, you know, you could put books over here, but the little shade behind the bed, that is so great because you do want some natural light to be able to come into the room, but you also wanna be able to shut that light off, especially if you end up at a campground where you've got a bright light that is above you, or if you are lot docking somewhere where it's brighter outside and you need to be able to shut that light down. So closet is a very, very spacious, so spacious in this closet. And there's a lot of motion lighting that is in this particular unit. So as soon as you kind of open this closet door, you've got all of this motion light that actually activates so that you can see into this closet. Now, take a look at this. This is kind of cool where again, Brinkley is making the best use of all of the space. And you've got these shelves that go back into these corners. Now, you might be thinking that's kind of a weird angle. Well, of course it's a little bit of a weird angle, but versus just creating a wall to block all of that off, you might as well use the available space that you have. And if you've watched some of our other storage videos with using things like flexible bins and uh, flexible bags, you can still fit anything that you need to, even in odd type spaces. So here we have got the washer and dryer stackable already in here. And then look at this. This is a collapsible laundry basket, but you've got just like a little space to be able to put your collapsible laundry basket or anything else that you would want up there. But that's pretty genius that they left that little bit of space and then put a shelf in there so that you could actually put that there. And then we've got some more storage over here. Again, kind of an odd shape, but that's not a problem. If you use some of our storage and organization methods that we talk about in our videos and then more just kind of built in storage here. So this slides out. Uh -huh -huh. So you kind of have some like hidden storage basically in, in this compartment here with this sliding out and open. So it'd be perfect for just stuff like jewelry or, you know, miscellaneous things that you don't always fit in a drawer the best. And then nice dresser, lots of space for clothes, everything that you need here. So we'll go back to the toy hauler part. I'm gonna show you what's going on back there. 
So back here in the toy hauler space, you have got a spacious second bedroom, if that's what you want to use it for to, you know, haul your toys. But you've got sleeping space right down here. So plenty of sleeping space here that you can utilize for the kids, the grandkids, whatever. You've got this drop down bunk up here that's going to drop down. So you have got sleeping space there as well. TV. Now check this out. You've got a nice loft up here, which kids absolutely love having these loft type spaces. Really, it just, it feels like they, they've got a little bit of a, you know, space that's just their own. And you have got a second half bath back here. Now, when you're a family on the road, or if you've got a, a bunch of people in your RV while you're out on the road, it is so helpful to have more than one bathroom. So you've got this little half bath here, which is why then you can't have any storage behind where the, that TV and everything is up there because you got all of this that's right behind it back here. So overall, great use of space, great sleeping, amazing design, so many things that are very unique about Brinkley. Uh, one of the things that I think that we're finding that's just absolutely amazing is that they're really trying to use more automotive technology when it comes to the exterior of the RV and the way the exterior of the RV is built versus kind of the old RV technology and bodies that are out there. So basically what that's gonna mean to you if you own a Brinkley is less maintenance and less worries as far as over time with things like water leaks and rippling and, and all of those things that can sometimes happen as RVs age. So this is pretty amazing, this porch area that is out here. You can come out here in the morning, enjoy a cup of coffee. Just the possibilities are endless, especially if you've got one of those amazing campsites or even like a harvest host location to be able to just come sit out on the patio in the morning enjoy a cup of coffee, what everybody wants to do with RV life. So some cool things that you have on the outside here is you do have a fuel tank. So that if you are hauling your toys, you can put some fuel in them and you've got fuel available to you right here. It also has a air compressor. So if you're needing to either air up your RV tires, your e-bike tires, your quad tires, anything like that, it has got a built-in onboard compressor for you right here. So now the exterior of all of the Brinkleys, again, are built with automotive technology in mind. So you're not gonna find any silicone caulking on any of the exterior of these particular units. Now this window, it's kind of cool what they have done here because basically what they've done is, it's kind of like when you see a vehicle that is wrapped. So you've got the privacy where you're not seeing in, but you've got the light filtering where you can have that light coming in from the outside, which just, you know, makes things look nice and open on the interior. So one of the things that actually really caught my attention about this RV that I have never seen ever before is the electrical cord on this thing is flat. So this actually makes it a ton easier to work with, especially if you have ever tried to wrap up a 50 amp electrical cord in cold weather you know what a wrestling match that can be. But this is nice and flat, which means it is much easier to work with in all temperatures. So, and then it winds up onto your um, Real. spool. Spool. Real. <laughs> I'm like, I need more coffee this morning. I need more coffee. Another thing that I think is pretty dang slick is your water hose that's here. This actually also coils up inside of the RV. So instead of trying to drain your water hose as you're going to put it away, it actually coils up on the inside. And then as it's coiling up on the inside, it's obviously draining all of that water out as that you're coiling it up. So lots of cool storage as well. You've got a lot of these more ride type trays that come out tons and tons of storage on this particular unit. You've got all of this pass-through storage here. Now there is something fun on the other side I gotta show you. So down here you've got your generator that is a flex generator, which means it's actually going to run off of propane or gas. And so that's a nice feature to be able to switch it over if you're running low on one fuel source or the other, to be able to switch that over. It actually does come with two lithium batteries and it does have 800 watts of solar on the roof from the factory 
ready to go. So the nice thing about that is, especially with that residential fridge, you've got plenty of power to keep that thing powered while you're driving down the road, come around the hitch <laughs> while you're out and about. Uh, you're not gonna have any lack for power in this thing. So down here, this is pretty slick. You actually have a little mini refrigerator drawer here on the outside, which is actually pretty cool in my opinion, because here's why. You've got a lot of RVs that have a little outdoor kitchen, little outdoor fridge. Let's face it, all you're gonna stick in there is some bottles of water, some soda, maybe some beer. You don't need a big outside fridge. This is perfect. Right there it is. I can't get it again. I legit can't get it back in. I like to read a book before I go to bed tonight. So before I go to bed tonight and every night, <laughs> I like to read a book before I, I'm just, okay. No, this is the realness, bloopers, okay. Don't get my, don't get my bad side, right? Get my good side. <laughs> it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I mean, it's still a nice loft area. Not, not adult, human size, maybe kid human Oh, I'm sure that I could fit but it wouldn't look graceful. <laughs> so a cool thing about this. Okay. They're playing the, the Rockford Claws game. Ooh, listen to that. Woo! Yeah. Every time we try to record. Every time. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. I'm playing Stereo Wars with somebody. So one thing that I think is pretty slick is right down in here. <laughs> I can't win. So you'll have to let us know what it is that you think of these new Brinkleys down in the comments below. I'm gonna leave a video right up here about four things that you absolutely need to know before you buy your next RV. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll see you in the next video.